Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to the second video in our series of the historical challenges on MotoGP19 on this tab. A new feature added to the game and I have to say, I love it. Now last episode, you will see if you watched that video and I recommend you do because it was quite an interesting one to be fair. It was a time attack challenge with uh, Wayne Rainey around the Bruneau circuit. We only got a silver medal, going to go back in my own time and try and get the gold medal. But to change things up today and in each new episode... We're going to be having the first challenge from the dawn of MotoGP. And then part three will be the great rivalries. And part four will start the modern era. Just to change things up a little bit. So in this video, we're going to be doing the first one of the dawn of the MotoGP. So it's Max, Ma meh, Max Biaggi against the rookie of the year. So back at Bruneau again, funnily enough. In the 2002 Bruneau Grand Prix in the Czech Republic, Max Biaggi is battling with an emerging young rider. Jairo Cato. Kat uh, 250cc world champion in 01 with Honda, funnily enough, the year I was born, and 11 victories in 11 GPs. That's quite a staggering amount. Uh, Kato's promotes to the newly formed MotoGP, immediately showing his talent, earning the title of Rookie of 02. And in this race at Bruno, Kato starts well, leads Biaggi and Rossi. The trio is too fast for everyone, despite Yukawa's trying to pass his compatriot. Biaggi wins, Kato second, Yukawa third. And Rossi retires. So what have we got to do with Biaggi? I'm guessing win the race. Beat Kato and don't fall. Well, <laughs> it sounds fairly easy, that second one, don't fall. But you'd have seen in my time attack that that's easier said than done. I think it's fair to say. So we've got to beat, uh, we've got to beat, our, we've got to beat Kato. Which is going to be an interesting one. Now, just to make things clear, I didn't watch MotoGP back then. I did make it clear that I was only born in 01. Probably only watched MotoGP religiously maybe for the last four, uh, four or five years. So I know a little tiny bit about uh, the previous stuff that happened in motorbike racing, but not a great amount. So I know who Biaggi is. Uh, I have to admit, I haven't really heard of Kato before. But uh, we're on lap 21 of 22, so we've only got a lap left. Right, okay, so we've got to pull out a decent lead on Kato. That's interesting. Hmm, let's see how we got on. But uh, we've only got a lap, so we do exactly what we did in the uh, video with, uh, who was it now, Wayne Rainey. And just try and beat Kato. And this could be easier said than done, because as I say, the bikes that I've ridden on this game so far have been so different in their, just in their handling and their nature, which is quite nice to see the difference between all the different bikes. I mean, this bike just, it seems brilliant. Uh, the Yamaha R02, of course. Now, this one should be fairly easy to do. Uh, so if it is a fairly easy challenge, I will do two challenges in this video. Although that is a real nasty corner, that is. And uh, luckily, though, we've stayed ahead of Kato. But it's clear that they don't just want us to stay ahead of Kato. They want us to beat Kato by quite a whopping amount. Now, we're just a second ahead of him at the moment. So we're going to turn tra traction control down a little bit. Try and get a better run out of the corners. And uh, try and pull out a little bit of a lead on Kato. Coming out this corner, though. I thought they got music in the background then. It was just our, just our uh, four-stroke engine going to the clappers. But at turn seven at Stadion, we've got quite a decent lead, I'd say, now on K2. We might be able to get the silver medal. I don't quite think we'll get to gold. I think that'd be quite uh, staggering to try and do. Going way too wide there. But the most important thing is that we don't fall off. That's one of the objectives. And as long as, long as we beat Kato, that doesn't really matter. But we pulled out a two-second lead. Got another two sectors to go just yet. So we'll see how we get on. I reckon we can pull out another second and a half potentially on him. And of course we're on the faster bike and Kato only being a rookie. We should really be beating him here. Don't know what really happened to Biaggi in the end. Not sure. I think perhaps uh, Rossi beat him too many times and that upset him. But coming to a corner that on our previous video we fell at. So we're just going to try and keep it cool around here. Turn 11 and now to turn 12. The uh, third corner before the last one. Of course we have the left hander then the right hander. And we just have to power it up here. Hope for the best. And let's see what the gap is now to Kato. It's 3.3 seconds. So as long as we don't muck up tremendously, um, then hopefully we should, suggested by the rule of thumb and the rule of logic, we should get that gap out to 3.6 seconds. Of course, we're going to win. Oh, look at that round the last corner. Just trying to push it a little bit too much. We win the Grand Prix, the four-stroke Grand Prix. What's the gap going to be to Kato? It is, oh, 4.5 seconds. So not quite getting the... Uh, the gold, unfortunately. But we do get an achievement out of that. That's quite nice. Uh, shall we go for it again? That, I feel like that was way too short. Let's have another go at it. Let's have a second go and see if we can get a gold medal this time. A bit of shame to leave it there. I think that uh, for this one, we've got the silver medal first time. So we just should try and really go for it. Now, we've got to pull out another 
actually only eight tenths because we were four and a half seconds ahead of uh, Giajiro Kato. I'm sure that's how you say his name. Uh, again, never heard of him, so I'm only guessing. But uh, yeah, we pulled out a four and a half second gap last time out. So if we push a little bit harder around all the track, you would think suggested by that gap. That I mean, mind you, though, that was a bit of a, a dodgy one around that corner. Just trying to push it too hard. And I've only had the game a day, so at the end of the day, I think perhaps pushing too hard isn't the way to go. But we pulled out a four and a half second gap on uh, Kato last time out. So there's no reason why we can't get another eight attempt out of him this time. Certainly brilliant to win our first gold medal. But seeing as how short this is, I might I might keep the I'm not sure, I might keep these as individual videos for the archives, just so anybody wants to see individual challenges can see them quite easily. Uh, and if this is quite short, I'll maybe bring two historical challenges out today. Let's see how we get on though. Let's see if we can get gold. I'm willing to give this a few goes before we get gold, but it's been a bit more hooked up, I would say, than it was last time out. But that just might be me being a bit delusional. But so I guess the only way we'll be able to see whether we've done any good or not, is uh, through the gaps that we've got now. We were two seconds ahead of Kato by this time uh, in the last one. We're 2.1 ahead, so not really much of a gap developed, but attempts a tenth, and, you know, it could potentially develop into six tenths in the next sector. Here's me hoping, but we did go a little bit wide at some of the corners, so potentially this time might be time for a little bit of improvement. Me saying that we go a little bit wider than the racing line would suggest at that corner just there, but coming into the left-hander, breaking quite late, and... Not really getting the right line, and we're off. Well, oh no, we've been overtook by Kato. We're not going to beat him, actually. We should just try and beat him. Now I'm going to fall off again because I'm being too aggressive. Well, let's give this another try. We're going to fail this. Let's restart the challenge. And uh, I mean that—that's—that's that's the beauty, and I quite like these challenges for that. Just pushing you as hard as you can, trying to eke out every tenth of a second possible that we fell off three corners before the end. But here we go again, third time. I'm going to only do it three times. don't want to do it too many times. I don't want to bore you guys too much, but I do want to get as good as I can get on uh, these historical challenges, really. It's a nice accolade to have, isn't it? And plus the fact you do get an achievement, I can imagine, if you get gold. So it's all worth it. Going a little bit wider at that first corner than we wanted to, probably, but just really doing really well coming out of it. And bang on the apex on the left, slowly uh, developing to the right-hand side of the track. Brake into this corner. Just tap the brakes later on. You can actually see on the right-hand side of the screen my uh, inputs in terms of acceleration and brakes. A big lot of brake as you first uh, go into the corner. Oh, blimey, already a two-second gap to Kato. So, obviously very much concentrating. This is clearly doable. But brake just as you go into the corner with a racing line and then ease off the brake. Just tap it slightly. But if you hit the brakes too hard at a low speed uh, or when you're just about to turn in the car, the, 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 car, the bike just goes, no, you're all right, thank you. And uh, Engin gives way, which we don't want to happen here. Because we have got to stay on the bike to uh, to actually even get bronze in terms of beating Kato. Never mind goal, which we are going for here. But this seems like a much better run than last time. I mean, as you can see from the mini-map, which is very mini in the uh, bottom left corner. There's no exaggeration there. We are now 3.5 seconds ahead. So that's pretty much got the uh, silver award. To be fair, not quite uh, 600 soft, but you would think based off... Uh, a delta of one and a half seconds in that sector compared to what we had uh, the first time we did it, that we would get this 5.3 seconds. I'm going to cheat a bit, turn traction control up a little bit because this corner, I'm a little bit worried about that. A little bit more traction control just helps us out, as you can see. Uh, I think that's just good entry, to be fair, good from us to get in. So we might as well turn the traction control down again now. It's not going to hurt coming up the hill. We'll see now what the gap is before we get into the last few corners, just to put the pressure on entirely and uh, oh it's 5.205 well it's going to be tight can we gain any advantage coming out of the last two corners going to turn traction control off altogether just so we can power it out of this last corner how do we do coming out of the last corner no problems there and what is the time going to be is it gold i hope it is let's have a look seven seconds to uh, diagero kato and that is a gold medal fantastic seven seconds up on Kato, and that is a big thumbs up. And that's where I'm going to leave it for today's historical challenge. We've done the challenge a little bit shorter than other videos, but there probably will be, because it's been a little bit shorter, um, another one later on. So thank you very much for watching. I've been TIJ Gaming. Make sure to check out the other MotoGP content I've got on the channel, including my career mode, uh, which we started with the Red Bull Rookies Cup. I'm really enjoying that so far, and hopefully you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I have been TIJ Gaming, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.